Hey everybody, and welcome to a brand new side project. Today we are starting Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance, and we'll be starting on file one. So let's go to Vegetable Valley. Um, how long will this let's play be? I'm not sure. B to suck up, A to jump, uh, L and R do not nothing. Yeah, we got the beam ability. This game runs so smooth compared to the previous Kirby games. It's gonna be a breeze. A walk in the park. Then you just double tap the direction that you're running into, run. Actually, I believe we need his power up though. So, let's go in the star. Burn! Okay, that did not work out in my favor at all. Oh, come on, I lost the fire power up already? Well, I guess we get spark now. Darn it, we, did we just kill the guy I wanted again? I believe we need him for a secret coming on later on, so let me get rid of that and see if I can find him again. Darn it, he kind of committed suicide. I apologize. Kirby games should not have suicide, it's for children. I'm going to just avoid you. Kind of like the, the cliff-like background, but... We were here the entire time there, fire dude. Ah, oh, Maximato, thank you! Ah, oh, and see the big star door is the ending. And it didn't really look like a whole vegetable valley thing, did it? Wow, everything is so fast-paced. Oh well. Ooh, bomb stage. Let's try this, see what it is. Bomb rally, press A, hit the bomb. Okay. We got this. We just don't want the bomb to blow up on us. If we miss the bomb, then it blows up and kills us. Here we go. Come on, someone die already. Can someone die? Yay, Red Kirby's dead. And now they turn into the balls that give us health in the other Kirby game. Actually, I don't know how to change directions. Man, everything's moving so fast! Darn it. And you get a life for every time you do it. And, okay. On to level 2. Which actually looks green. The music in this game is awesome, though. This is actually a remake, well, kind of a remake, of Kirby's Adventure. Well, they call it Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, so technically I'm going to count it as two different games. So that way, you know, we can have two separate Let's Plays. We'll try and get 100%. Oh, now we're back in this ugly cliff land. The fire attack is just so delayed. Oh, hey, little bomb buddy. Ow, that did not work out. He's gonna do his long jump. Eh. And there we go, we killed him. Anything up here that's a secret? Nothing? No. No secrets. Not like Yoshi's Island. Get in the door. Gotta burn everything and everyone we see. Burn. Hey, Gordo. Whoa, we just missed him. Eh, I guess we could use some health. Plus, we get some extra points for defeating things. On this game, you actually do get points for destroying these star bricks, though. Normally, you don't. At least not in the old Kirby games. And you can actually go back out that door if you miss the health. Or you need health, you can go back. Though, enemies in this game respawn, so... Hey, sword guy. I believe his name is Knight, but he kind of looks like a Link ripoff. Actually, I don't know who came first, Kirby or Zelda. But anyways, let's go on to level 3. Which is very vegetable filled, apparently. Actually, I haven't seen one vegetable. Mushrooms are not a vegetable, they're a fun guy. No, they're not fun guys. Burn, everybody, burn! Hello there, idle head guy. And Ah, burner ability. Yes, this is the game where you have fire and burner. Sometimes they change, which is really weird, but... Wait a minute, I believe this is the spot that actually has a secret. 
Is it one of these that had the secret? Can't quite tell. Okay, no, not in this part. There is a part in the game where there's a waterfall that has a secret, because there are secret path uh, passages and stuff that unlock more. Why is there like a little shelled enemy there? Just like he's out of water. Yeah, see, in this game, you don't have your power up in the water like you did in the previous games that I've played on this channel. This actually is supposed to be a Kirby's Dream Land 3 Let's Play, but that game kept freezing, so... Don't know if I mentioned that before. But it does, and it annoyed me. Oh, hey, Burner. When are you gonna go off? Or ever. Apparently never. Oh god, he's following me. Oh, thank you. Come on. I don't believe health carries... I don't believe full health carries over. Or, like, if you get full health... Can you stop turning to the... Really gotta stop using analog sticks for everything in games. Seriously, that did not benefit me at all. Just took damage that I didn't need to take. And... Can we get down there? Thank you. Darn Kirby. And I only got the three. Which is worth 2,000 points. Ah, oh, what's this? It's a Kirby thing. I think, is it the museum? Yeah, museum. You get a free ability. So here you get sword for free. Actually, I believe if we're missing a secret, the doors will indicate it. I believe we got our present. I think the door flashes if you're missing something in it. Now we're actually in like a, a grassy type level. And, oh, hey, ice ability. And I like the music here. Ice is a cool ability. I've always liked ice things, like ice Pokemon, ice levels. Favorite ice world is in Jack and Daxter for the PS2, remade on the PS3. Can you stop taking damage? This game actually isn't that easy to avoid Damn, You know what? Fudge it. I'm not getting that back anyway. Oh, did I seriously run into Crack Chick? Why do I run into so much in this game? Hey, Needle Ability, is it better? Yeah, it's more instant in this game. Still not that great, but... Now you could literally just farm points in this game. So, are you guys gonna run onto my spikes? Thank you. Hmm, doorway. Invincibility! Nice, now let's just run through everything, kill everything. You don't get lives in this for... Oh, hey, life. I was gonna say, you don't get lives for killing enemies, but we got that life there. And there's another level beaten. Level, or how many points is this? 5,000. And yeah, see, there's like nothing. There's like no hidden anything here, so. And anyways, we got the world boss, which is like normal wispy woods. So let's just sit here in spike mode. Don't believe he can actually hurt you. So it's kind of a joke. And we get the Star Rod. Go Kirby, it's your birthday. Bounce like it's your birthday. Good job, Kirby. And level two is Ice Cream Island. So in the next episode, I believe we'll do Ice Cream Island. See you guys next time.